Chris Straub with Straub Technologies, and I've got Billy Fisher here, uh, my lead guy in the shop, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the Rottler SG9 MTS. Um, Billy's with, been with me about four years now, and but uh, that's about a tenth of what Billy has spent in this industry and stuff, and he's got quite a bit of time behind seat and guide machines and stuff. And Billy, just a couple questions. On the SG9, what are some of the features that it has that... Uh, compared to the machines that you've used over the years that you like about the Rottler SG9? It's got a simple setup in it. Uh, it's got two uh, control things up here. One you can go with manual or you can go automatic. And the automatic one does is you set your height, your depth, where you want the cutter to start. And then when it does that, it flashes the light so people can figure out they're getting close to the seat. And then when you get down to your finish depth, the light will flash again. So then you can look up here and see the screen and go to the stop or your zero spots up here. Other than that, it's um, I like the manual one because I can go in there, lock the machine down, lock the pilot down. Even though it's a tapered pilot, I still like to have the pilot concentric with the guide so everything stays the same. The other way with the manual one, it kind of is a live pilot deal, which if this seat is heavy on one side to the other, it has a tendency to push this, the cutter one way to the other. So I like the manual one to where it locks it down and keeps it stable. So it makes the seat concentric to the guide. And that's your preference on the machine, and that's great. I mean, it's, it's, it's cool that the SG9 gives you that flexibility as far as how you like to do things compared to like how somebody else might do things. Now, in the 40 plus years that you've been in this industry and, and with some very um, professional, highly regarded race teams and engine shops and that type of stuff, I'm sure you've had to train some people over the years how to use these machines. I know we've got a youngster in the shop right now and I know you've been working with him on this machine. Mm -hmm. How is this machine uh, in teaching him how to use it uh, do you find it easier to teach somebody that's never used a seat and guide machine? Yeah, it's so much easier. You can, um, it won't take you but a couple hours for a guide to really get comfortable with the machine. Uh, the setup on it, like I said, is simple. Uh, you so load the blitz. head, you, you have these stops in the back of the head, you gotta make sure that they're there so the head stays in the same location when you swap one over. Um, once you get this done, that, that setup done when you go and set your seat guide. That's the only issue that I have on a lot of machines. There needs to be a mic so that when we go to set the seats up and all that, you don't have to sit there and try to find a little 45. Gotcha. Some of them need a mic to where, say I go to a two inch 202 valve, make it simple here. I can go to the outside of the seat cutter, get my measurement, once I find that, make sure it's where I want it, I can write that down on a sheet of paper. Okay. Then it takes the guesswork out of somebody trying to set up where the top cut of the 45 is. Okay. So I'm in the process of making one of them mics right now for that deal. Okay, all right. So it's just, but other than that, it's a very simple machine. It's, it's like I said, it, you can have somebody trained on it within a couple hours. Okay. It all don't right. take long at all, and then you can walk away and leave them alone. All right. Come back, check the work, make sure they've done it right. There you go. There you go. And then you, if they don't, you know, well, you help them any way you can. You've heard it from 40 years' experience of working on these machines. Mr. Fisher really likes the SG9 MTS by Rottler. Uh, if you got any questions, contact Rottler at rottlermanufacturing.com. Thank you.